This is a day that was long in coming, but we are here. And one that I think reflects a number of things. A spirit of a community that has worked hard to ensure that this day happens, uh, committed public officials to help ensure that it happened, and a future that I think will be bright for everyone. I'm delighted to be here today to celebrate an improvement in the traffic and pedestrian safety that will have a very big impact in this community. Uh, crossing this street, uh, either as a driver or as a pedestrian, to get to the library uh, for the future police station as well, should not be a death-defying act. It should be something that is safe and secure. That's why the community here has so forcefully advocated for a traffic signal that would greatly enhance the quality of life for this community. The Quaint Acres Civic Association and community members have been unwavering in their efforts to convince the State Highway Administration that this traffic signal was needed. It has been a very, very long haul, and we greatly admire your perseverance and commitment. I want to especially thank a number of our state elected officials, especially Delegate Tom Hucker, Jamie Raskin, and Delegate Sheila Hickson. Tom especially worked very hard on this light, and without his intervention and that of our state delegation, I'm not sure that it would have happened, and certainly not in the time frame that it, it has. Also want to thank Art Holmes and our Department of Transportation and his staff for their support and efforts to ensure that we are here today. Uh, we are delighted that this is not only a day for safety, uh, but it is a beautiful day that reflects that people are outdoors, uh, they are walking, they are bicycling, and they are, in some ways, relieved of a level of danger that they were in before. Thank you for your patience. Thank you for your perseverance. And thank you for your commitment to the community. This is what happens when the government, the people, work together with a concerted goal, concerted effort, and refuse to give up. This is what happens. Safety, security, and a better quality of life for all of us. So I want to thank you all for your efforts. I want to thank you all for your determination. And most of all, I want to thank you all for this light. When I first uh, uh, graduated from college and started working on my first campaign in this area, it was 25 years ago, and my boss used to give us a briefing about the five P's of social change. And it was like a political science course. You heard about political philosophy, and then press, and then PACs, and personal persuasion, and an organized public. I think he left one out, and that was persistence. This story is all about the persistence of Quaka and the other safety advocates and uh, pedestrian safety advocates and uh, community associations in this area that have been pushing for this light for over 12 years, as far as I can understand it. I looked at my emails. I, I learned about this about four years ago and ran into the same roadblocks you had been running into for many years. Um, and after escalating from State Highway to the uh, Maryland Department of Transportation, I learned that the Maryland Department of Transportation had its own questions and problems with State Highway. And we're trying to make some changes at State Highway to make them more responsive to community concerns. So I need to thank Billy Huang, who was a special assistant who was in installed at the uh, office of the Administrator of State Highway, who came here uh, and met with Becky Snyder and Richard Chauncey and Kristen Draper and others who had been pushing for this light for many years. And he brought his engineers here and he heard all the concerns and they still pushed back and said, no, if we put a stoplight in here, we'll have to put a stoplight in everywhere anybody asks for it. And it was through the persistence of talking to Billy and then the governor and the Department of Transportation secretary that they finally conceded uh, last year to give con special consideration to this area because of the number of crashes, because of the testimony of the police we brought in, and uh, to bring in this light today. So this is all a testament to you, your persistence, and I really want to uh, salute you for that, because without your persistence and your dogged intervention in this, we would not have this great uh, improvement in traffic safety today. Thank you. We want our kids to take risks uh, in the classroom, and on, we want them to take risks on the athletic field, we don't want them to take risks crossing the street. And so uh, public safety has got to be our paramount value. And so uh, I salute, you know, everybody who started writing us many years ago and uh, all of my uh, colleagues um, 
who uh, helped the community navigate the twists and turns of the uh, state bureaucracy. And um, I think we ended up with the right solution here. And so uh, we invite everybody to come to the traffic light and wait. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you for all for being here today, and I thank Tom for his persistence and his help that working on this. I've lived here since 1966, and they wanted that light then. So I want to I want to talk about persistence, right? My daughter lives in South Carolina and called me this morning and said, uh, "What are you doing?" I said, "You're not going to believe this. I'm going to the White Oak Library, and the light is going in." <laughs> she graduated in 1978. Okay, <laughs> you know, but uh, it is all due to you. Talk about people who get things done. You uh, you guys get a, the bronze star for everything. It's really you never quit. You never stop. We heard from you all the time. And when you take on the State Dance Transportation Department in the state of Maryland, it's the biggest department we have. You took them on, and you guys won. Congratulations. When I ran for the council four years ago, I had a house party down the street. My friend John Simpson organized it for me on Queen Acres Road. And a lot of folks said, we really need a stoplight uh, up here because we can't get across the road. And I thought, how hard could it be to get a stoplight? And then I found out. Uh, people started telling me the stories of years after year of advocacy. So congratulations for getting this. As Mr. Hucker said, you know, there are communities up and down state highways which cover this county. You can't really get anywhere in Montgomery County without crossing or taking a state highway. And we do need more local influence. And thanks to your advocacy, we have it here. But there are plenty of places else across this county where we need to make our community safer, slow cars down, and help people live in their neighborhoods and not just across long distances. So thank you very much for your work. The Quaint Acres Civic Association has been primarily very, very uh, strong in the advocacy to have the stop uh, sign here. We would now invite Becky Snyder, who is the vice president of the Civic Associations, and uh, also have uh, Mr. Barry Widers, who is with the White or North White Oak Civic Association, to follow up with a couple of comments. Good morning. Thank Good morning. you all for coming, and uh, I'd like to uh, thank you all for coming to join us at the celebration of the installation of this traffic signal, which is an event that's been so long awaited by our neighborhood. When Quain Acres was platted in the mid 20th century, this area of the county was a quiet suburb with little traffic, um, none of what we experience today. However, even though the neighborhood, uh, Quain Acres, remains a virtually unknown bucolic uh, escape from the hustle and bustle of the DC metro area, uh, New Hampshire Avenue has become a major thoroughfare with uh, lots of traffic, often a constant stream traveling at near highway speeds. Uh, as traffic increased, the intersection of Quain Acres Drive and New Hampshire Avenue became more difficult and hazardous for both pedestrians and drivers to navigate. For many years, board members of the Quain Acres Neighborhood Association have been advocating for a fully functioning traffic light at the entrance of Quain Acres. The current traffic light, which was installed in 2006, mainly to assist pedestrians crossing New Hampshire Avenue, was a step in the right direction. But because it functioned in such an unusual manner, drivers on all sides of the intersection were frequently confused. As a result, Quain Acres residents often witnessed accidents at this, at this intersection, and several uh, Quain Acres residents were injured in accidents. The installation of this new fully functioning traffic light will make driving on or crossing New Hampshire Avenue and entering or exiting Quain Acres much safer. I guess the one point that I'd like to make today is I'm really encouraged by the uh, strong partnership between the county and the state related to a very important traffic issue. We face a lot of traffic issues because our neighborhood is surrounded by a state highway and a uh, U.S. highway, U.S. 29, and uh, further development in this area is going to require close cooperation going forward, so I very much appreciate the effort and look forward to our continued work to improve traffic safety in this area. Thank you. I have here beside me, beside me is Evelyn Graper. Uh, she was almost injured at this intersection. And what we are doing today is to make certainly not only her, but all of our children and our entire community is in fact safe. So you see this face, uh, this is the face of the challenge that we face in trying to ensure that we not have the kinds of accidents. And this is what was placed in jeopardy here. And so the work that everyone has put together 
is reflected in our young people and the safety and what they experience each and every day. Uh, Evelyn is an example of that, and I'm delighted that she is here today, live and well, and not injured in any form or fashion to experience this very beautiful day. Let's give a round of applause.